Good morning, North American traders. Privateer FX coming at you. 30th of May. Tricky little day today. Tricky, tricky, tricky. But as we uh, suggested earlier in our uh, first video of the day, we're expecting sort of a range bound euro uh, short squeeze type of a day. So far we've gotten that, but it's been quite choppy. Let's take a look at the euro yen. Uh, on the one minute, as you can see, we had the first at the open, we jammed higher, all the way up to 34. Boons went all the way down to 162.07. Um, and then, quick 50 point trip down to 125.75. Quick 40 points up to 18. You see, bit of chop here now. It does look like to me we are going to get one more, one more push higher. You see yesterday's high at 45, today's high at 35. There's a natural pivot at 50. Uh, equities are bullish. They're 10 handles higher. Um, but we're all kind of sitting here on a knife edge, like waiting for this shoe to drop, waiting for one more piece of bad news. But usually at times like this, the bad news doesn't arrive and we squeeze higher so that's what we're expecting we are sellers of high ones though so today we will begin core short selling in the 80s 126.80 to 127.80 it's a big band of sales up there I would just caution you uh, if you're gonna try this strategy make sure you run the strategy run the P&L on paper before you do it because oftentimes on fades people forget what the P&L is gonna be it's a tricky way to trade. Um, price in your worst case scenario, which is being stopped out. See if you can afford it. See if it makes sense to you uh, before you try it. Otherwise, just don't trade and wait. Wait for uh, a better risk reward setup, and and there'll be something that comes up today. There's, there's, I have no doubt about that. Something always comes up. Anyway, um, this is the strategy in euro yen. Equities, basically the same strategy. We're we're in this sort of 2707, 2717 area. We do think this is going to hold. We do not think this story is over. Uh, this Italian Spanish story, mix in with some Trump Trumpy stuff, uh, looks to be risk. Looks like risk aversion is going to return. Certainly for a Thursday Friday revival. <laughs> Um, what else? Euro, same chart as Euro Yen, same type of price action, a little steadier. Bunch of green bars there. We've topped out here at 12, uh, which you could argue is kind of the correct place. You can see there's going to be resistance here at sort of 14. There's going to be risk above 40, 116.40. And I would just say keep an eye on that level, not as a level to enter into longs, but as a level to see if it fails and uh, perhaps try a fade. Got to take into consideration what's going on with BTPs, where boons are, and where the risk barometer is. Obviously, if it's risk on, you don't want to fade this, but if it's risk off and they're just jamming stops, then you could throw on the fade. What else is out there? Let's look at cable. We've been looking at this cable all morning, waiting for this 133, the figure to trade. We do expect risk, as in shorts cutting above 133, the figure, and then again above 133.25. Even though this trade doesn't make sense on paper, the UK is a mess. Sterling at the moment looks like it's going to zero. Take your bias out of the equation and just sort of trade the bars here. If we do see 133, then they're probably going to get all these stops. So don't overthink this, and it's just a trade. Smash and grab. Maybe get long through the new high today at 94, maybe get long at 01. Keep a tight stop. Look for prices 30, 50 points higher. Get out and move on. A long while of down, thousand points to be to be 
exact in the last month. We're due for a short squeeze in, in uh, sterling. Is today the day? I don't know. You know, again, it would have to be the risk metrics would have to turn positive for this trade to work. So you just want to keep that in mind. Okay, I'm not going to bother you with too much else uh, on a day like today when we're looking at consolidation and we're looking at mainly range trade and we're looking at counter trend trades. We tend to keep it much lighter, much less risk. And therefore, I don't really want to waste tons of your time with like some crazy great trade ideas. It would be absolutely fine if you just didn't trade today and then waited for the trade to resume, the trend to resume Thursday and then Friday going into the weekend when people get even more nervous. Um, we could easily see this thing accelerate. That's it for now. Good luck, people. I will see you tomorrow at the European...